What's going on guys? Today I'm here to tell you guys why your phone is killing your creativity. If you're anything like me, you guys scroll endlessly on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever social media you got all day, every day. And it's not the greatest thing to do. Even though I love social media and the object known as our phone, it can be extremely distracting and very killing to your creativity. I wanna tell you guys why sometimes putting your phone down can lead to way better creativity in the long run. Split this into three different reasons. You guys want the remedy to success on how you can boost your creativity. Keep watching. My name is J-Rod. Welcome friends to my channel. I've split the reasons into three major things. The three major things that are killing your creativity. First reason, reason number one, your phone is distracting you. You're scrolling way too long. I don't think we realize how much time we spend scrolling through our phones every day. Aimlessly swimming through countless forms of content, through various different social media platforms, which are put in place to entertain, educate, and inspire. I know what you're thinking. But I, I spend all day looking at YouTube videos, man. Just, just trying to learn things. Look, buddy, I'll be the first to tell you. If you're not taking that educational content that you're learning and putting it into real life, you're wasting time. You're wasting your talent. It's all fine to educate yourself, but if you're sitting on your phone scrolling for too long, you're wasting precious moments of your life, man. The reason for you obtaining the knowledge is to go out there and use the knowledge for your game. All I'm saying is just don't fall into the trap. Second reason, social media is shaping your creative mindset. For anything like me, you follow a lot of content that you love, creators that you would love to be, people that you look up to. And all that is fine. Being able to look up to other people and content creators that you know on the internet. The problem is when we spend too much energy comparing ourselves to these next people. As creative individuals, we can look at content and we can really go one of two ways. Either we're going to be like, wow, that's amazing. I would love to do that. Or we're gonna go, man, that person is so much better than me. And that's the double-edged sword of social media sometimes. As much as you would love to recreate the piece of content that you have seen, the best piece of content come from your head. Take these different pieces of medium and content, combine them into different ideas. The best ideas are gonna come from you guys taking your ideas that you already have and combining them ideas that you see. Remember, you're only competing with yourself. Also relating to this reason, don't let social media overtake or dictate the way that you're moving your creative vision. This even stems into things like the algorithm. We all have experience with things like Instagram Reels. In all seriousness, guys, these platforms really try to box us creatives in and just make sure that you're putting out content that fits into your niche and fits into your specific platform. For people like me who, for people like me who love photo content, it's really hard to adapt to the times of Instagram Reels. But by sticking to what you know and what you love, you can really progress forward. The great thing about social media is there's always going to be a group of people who love what you specifically do. And you can bring specific value. You need to be avoiding and limiting the amount of social media that you intake. And by taking some time away from your phone, you can really help with it. For our third and last reason, I hate to be this guy, but you're obsessed with people think about your work. Posting your work can be a very dangerous yet rewarding thing sometimes. Even the best artists are bombarded with these waves of positive and negative reinforcement on their posts. Whether that be comments or the amount of likes or your mama going on there and saying that she loves your work, there's always gonna be that person who thinks your work sucks and there's always gonna be that person who absolutely loves your work and just thinks you have the best work ever. All you can do is just focus on what you're doing. And sometimes it pays for you to just take some time away from your phone. Moving yourself away from these distractions, which can sway into one or the other direction on how you feel about your own work. Find yourself being happy with your work before you post it. You get a whole lot farther with everything. Be your own biggest supporter, your biggest fan. And if that means you need to start limiting the amount of phone that you intake, then do so. But in conclusion, put this object down sometimes, go outside, touch grass, chill with some friends, have some life experiences, and then come back to your craft. Sometimes your creativeness is gonna come when it's ready, man. And this goes for most of us. Me, I'm still learning how to do it my damn self. But thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in more videos, we got more in the way. 
on not only content creation, my career, some tips, some tricks, some different things, some pieces of nuggets of knowledge that I can share with you guys and stuff that I can tell you guys that it maybe help out your career or could just help you in marketing. Tell me how you guys feel about the video in the comments below, whether you liked it, whether you hated it, whether you told your mom you're never going to watch another video again. Let me know in the comments section below. Until next time, thank you and have a great one.